Hey, happy Wednesday. Uh, to go along with yesterday, the question was, if you have these intrusive thoughts, if you have these negative thoughts and you kind of dwell on them, which a lot of us overthinkers do, you know, a lot of us that have anxiety, that have different neurodivergencies or mental health things, a lot of times we can kind of get stuck in our head and we can think of stuff and we can create, we can create a reality that isn't really a reality. So what do I do? Well, firstly, a lot of times I'll tell myself to stop. You know, whether it's in my mind or I'll say it out loud, loud, I'll say stop. Because you have to realize the stuff that you think, the stuff you believe may not be true. And a lot of people don't want to accept that. A lot of people want to think that everything they think, everything they believe is true. And that's not the case. So it begins with a humility. It, becomes, it begins with a, rea a re realization that what I'm thinking, what I'm believing is not true. When you get that in your mind, it's a lot easier to stop these intrusive thoughts or these negative thoughts and stuff because you can tell yourself, listen, that's not even true. And you kind of can move on to something else. But when you're stuck there believing that everything you think, everything you believe is true, and you know, no matter what anyone else says, you, you know the right things, you know this, especially if you're a younger person. Again, I am not picking on younger people. I was a younger person. I'm talking just from my personal experience. When I was younger, I did not have the wisdom to realize that the things that I thought, the worldview that I had was very, very limited. It was based on a few experiences that I had in life, and I had quite a few at the time, but really it was still limited based on where I'm at now. I've met more people, I've had more experience, I've had have a larger worldview, I've learned more things about psychology, I've learned more things about human nature, I've learned more things about myself, I've learned more things about everyone around me, I've learned more things to, that you cannot judge someone on one introduction or, or, or based on, you know, just tiny things that we know about someone else. And a lot of times that's what people are doing. They'll meet someone once and they make up their mind. And I'm an INFJ, so I'm pretty intuitive. I can read the room and stuff like that. But listen, I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. You are not perfectly reading every person you come in contact with. You are not perfectly at psychoanalyzing the people and it's it's just an impossibility because you're human because you're fallible because you fail and especially like i said as a younger person i'm not picking on younger people you don't have the wisdom and experience you don't and you can think you have you can think you've gone to therapy you've got have been traumatized you have these bad experience with these people and stuff but a lot of what you're doing you're just projecting you're projecting all of that crap that's inside of you on someone else is what you're doing and that stuff needs to stop because like I said, we're punishing, we're destroying relationships, we're hurting each other, we're causing a lot of pain in other people's lives and then we sit there and we think we're doing the right thing and we're so good and great and stuff and we're leaving a trail of bodies in our wake that are hurt people and we think it's okay and it's not okay. So that's where I'm getting at. Everything you think, everything you believe, the things you perceive in people, you're not fallible, you're not perfect, you can be completely wrong and think about what you've said and done if you're wrong about it. Think about it, think about it, take it really in, don't ignore it because you can kind of see, maybe I hurt a lot of people I shouldn't have hurt and we need to make up for that, we need to be kinder. Anyways, I love all y'all, have an awesome Wednesday, you're an awesome, amazing human being, think about what I'm saying, peace out, bye.